Got myself a blaster box of 2023 Allen and Ginter baseball. Always a crowd pleaser. Each card or each pack will have one of those mini cards. And uh, here we go. We've got Luis Ortiz. We've got Timmy Trumpet. Tommy Edmond. This is a filigree parallel of Ski. An artist, an entrepreneur, and a DJ. Got a mini, a former Rookie of the Year, Michael Harris, the second. Kiteboarding. The kid, Ken Griffey Jr., 630 career home runs, MVP winner, perennial all-star. I believe he's got 10 gold gloves and a first ballot Hall of Famer. Here he is featured with the Reds. Prior to that, he was a Mariner, start, finished his career with the Mariners, and had a brief stint with the White Sox. And this is Ryan Nelson. Gio Urshela started off his career with the Yankees, spent some time with the Twins, too. Carly Ostremski finished off his career with 452 home runs, MVP winner, Triple Crown winner, and Hall of Famer. The Windy City, Chicago. The Splendid Splinter, Ted Williams. Oswald Peraza, Rafael Nadal. Pardon me. And we're back. Rafael Nadal, one of the world's best tennis players. I've seen this guy before. Jefferson White, an actor. Chicago PD. I heard it's a good show. I never watched it. This is Michael Toglia, Slammin' Sammy. Finished his career with 609 home runs, 1998 MVP winner, one of two players in Major League history to have four consecutive 50 home run seasons. But uh, no need to go into it, but uh, he will most likely never see the inside of the Hall of Fame. The Cotto. This is that barber. This is that wiffle ball player. Got an Alec Bohm patch relic card. Wow, very nice. From my Philadelphia Phillies. Had a very nice season. Improved in defense and all aspects of offense. Could be a star in the making. Uh, Nolan Gorman had over 30 home runs last year. The Cardinals, though, they finished in last place. Mini rookie card, and we've got the piano. Very briefly, when I was younger, I played the piano. I wasn't very good. I was okay. Uh, Riley Green, Jazz Chisholm, who last year for some reason made the All Star team. Max Freed. This is uh, Brian Wilson, Ken Griffey Jr. Once again, eight consecutive games with a home run. Several other players, I believe, had eight, eight consecutive games. Uh, Jordan Alvarez coming off an all-star appearance and 30 home runs, 90-plus RBI. Jackie Robinson, Hall of Famer, MVP winner, World Series winner. Yover Peguero, MVP winner, MVP winner. Mo Vaughn, who finished with a career batting average of just less than 300. Here he is featured with the Mets, but he was originally a product of the Red Sox. Also played with the Angels. It's with the Angels, I believe, is where he won his MVP. Was an absolute beast at the plate. I believe injuries cut his career short. Simeon National Park and Big Poppy. David Ortiz finished his career with 540-plus career home runs. Three World Series. Many times in his career, he finished in the top 10 in MVP voting. Perennial All-Star. I think... Uh, Two times in his career, he finished in the top three in AL MVP voting. But the fact that he was a DH worked against him in those instances. And we have another MVP winner, Christian Yelich. Won the MVP in 2018 and almost won it in 2019. Then his career, as far as his offensive numbers, took a tumble. But last year, had a nice bounce back season. 
19 home runs, 70 plus RBI, a respectable batting average. This is a gold mini. Let's keep it moving. Gavin Lux, Kenley Jansen, who is now, I believe, seventh or eighth on the all time saves list. He is two away from passing or from tying Dennis Eckersley. Future Hall of Famer Ichiro. The Hall of Fame inductees were just announced. And next year, headlining the newcomers on the Hall of Fame ballot is this 10-time All-Star, 10-time Gold Glove winner. And rest assured, he will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. There's no reason why he shouldn't get 100% of the votes. But you know, there's always that one guy uh, on the Hall of Fame committee that consists of 401 riders that'll just have to be a jackass about it. Um, Ichiro also has the single season hits record, which he did in 2004. This is Carlos Radon. Uh, I've seen this card before. Crystal Reed. Teen Wolf. Never watched it. Don't intend to. Uh, Hen Harrier. Yes. Last pack. Here we got MVP winner. Gold Glove winner, World Series winner, Mookie Betts. Key Brian Hayes, who was among the league leaders in triples last year, won a Gold Glove as well. DMC won third of the legendary group, Run DMC. And I believe the murderer of uh, Jam Master J, if, uh, if I recall correctly, has been arrested. And he will be tried... Uh, that was a tragic murder that took place in 2002. It was one of those things where kind of everybody on the street knew who it was, but the wheels of justice sometimes move slow. But yeah, DMC. Hall of Famer, two-time MVP, 3,000 hits, Robin Yount. Uh, this is that Zion Clark. He is a Paralympic athlete, absolutely jacked. We finish off with Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo. And I believe Alonzo and the Mets for quite some time have been in talks of trying to extend his contract. I'm going to guess he wants too much. They're not willing to go so high. So he may not be a Met anymore in the near future. And that would work to his benefit because the Mets are perpetually doomed. That concludes this baseball rip. I was fortunate enough to pull this relic card. Let me see if it's, it's not numbered. No. No. But a nice card nonetheless. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.